Hello everyone and welcome back to my Hard Time series in Kerbal Space Program 0.25. In this episode, I'm going to take care of the two missions I launched in the previous episode, the one to the moon and one to Minmus, in order to get the science that we need to unlock docking ports. So, without further ado, this is the moon mission. It's already on its way to the moon. It will, of course, arrive at the moon and be able to get into orbit and do everything before the Minmus mission reaches its much further target. So, let's just... Let's just take care of it first. All right, so here we go. Let us proceed away from Kerbin. And voila, in Moonar Sphere of Influence. No big deal, but it's, it's really the landing and the whole getting it back part that's always a lot of fun. So here we go with getting into orbit first. Uh, we're probably headed on the dark side eventually. Are we already on the dark side? Yeah, the, the moon is sort of covering the sun. Let's take SAS off. Still... Oh, the light's on. Light's off. No, they, they don't really take much electric charge. Okay, well, we're gonna hit the bright side once we get over to our periapsis anyway, so hopefully we'll be able to survive. Okay, orbit's achieved, uh, 57 by 37, and let me just leave it here for a sec. I want to take a peek at where exactly we've landed on the moon. I mean, I don't think we've done these experiments on the moon anywhere. I think the only landings we've done are kerbled landings, and probably this area is ripe. This, this looks pretty ripe for a uh, landing. Hmm, I wonder if we could do that one really quickly. Well, let's not do it really quickly. Let's let's do it properly. Uh, so, what we are going to do is... Okay, that's a lot of Delta V, but... I want this little pass to work. I didn't really calculate this into the budget, though, the Delta V budget. Didn't really calculate an inclination change. So that's got to make things a little bit tighter. Okay, so that's done. And then uh, probably here we need to bring the orbit in. All right, we have a descent path. We've got plenty of fuel left in this thing, I think. That's good. We need it. After all, we're going to try and bring this all back. Weird little adapter. Okay. Proceeding. Let me just verify our contracts. Yeah, let me just double check that there hasn't uh, been a new contract for the Moon or Minmus. Let me pop back into the Space Center. Nope, it looks like the mission control is resolutely interplanetary. Duna, Paul, Eve, there is this hydraulic detachment and the Rockamax. Well, let me just get rid of this one. I'm not going to do that. But it just gives me another one that's testing in suborbital trajectory over Kerbin. Elu and Bop. So, nope, nope. We'll just have to uh, take care of it without a contract, it looks like. Alright. Okay, so here we are. And we are still aimed for this crater. Let's get a little bit closer and then we can retroburn. Okay, starting retroburn. Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> okay, well, retroburn complete. Uh, well, I mean, now it's going to be just a descent burn. Interesting little location. Got that canyon there. I don't think we got extra points for hitting that canyon. I think I've done that in at least one series. Let's see if uh, doing goo here is worthwhile. Not really. Not that we're going to do it anywhere else. Probably we'll end up doing it. As usual, we'll have to dump this transfer stage before being able to land. 
but we'll carry with us as much as possible. It's got a lot of fuel in. But I think we're at the limit of where I can keep it attached. So let's... Start going up, decouple, and then we'll go with this stage. Gear down. Alright. A little bit of a burn off to the side so that we don't hit it. As usual, dumping the transfer stage at the last moment provides a good measure of what your altitude of the surface is. Okay, touchdown. All right, let's get some science. Observe the materials bay. Okay, 60 science there, we'll keep that. Coup container. Okay, 24 science, keep that. Now I could have been doing the gravioli all the way down, probably. Let's just see, uh, oh, let's keep that. Uh, seismometer. 48 science, keep that. That is the empty slot where the barometer would be, but we don't need the barometer for this. Okay, and 19.2, keep that. All right. Now, our, our Minmus mission should still be quite a ways away. Indeed it is. And so I'm going to bring this back to orbit. All right, uh, I think we've done everything. We've got one goo container left. I'll probably just end up getting the extra four science that we saw was still left in that possible experiment. Okay, here we go. Gear up. Okay, so we are at uh, excessive inclination, if you will. But I don't think that'll be too much of a problem for our return. A polar orbit, of course, would be, but I don't think I have to correct this one. Not too concerned about the funds we're getting back. I just want this back with the science. So I'm not going to aim for anything except for just a re-entry wherever. Okay, but before I do this burn, because we can stay in orbit around the moon for a while, I want to see whether we really have time. So this is going to be 6 hours and 30 minutes. Let's make sure that the Minmus mission isn't going to get anywhere in that sort of time frame. Okay, no it's not. It's got about a day and 23 hours until apoapsis. And interestingly, it's uh, in the tracking station, it's actually showing a moon encounter on the opposite side. In other words, after it should be getting its Minmus encounter, it's evidently got a moon encounter. And so the tracking station is only showing the moon encounter, as it does. Uh, but that does not concern me. We have plenty of time to do this, so let us return this to Kerbin. And maybe, maybe this alone will get us the science for the docking parts already, and we can make other plans with the science that we get from Minmus. Now this is more than the usual burn because we're not equatorial. I mean, we've got this inclination and all. So not the most efficient way to go, but let's go. Wow, we have a lot more fuel left over than I thought we would. Interesting. Okay, but uh, we've got a definite return periapsis there. Let's get out of the lunar sphere of influence the moon is receding looking a little bit like the death star and Kerbin is approaching really this thing is overpowered for a moon or minus landing maybe Ike would be interesting I think we've got an Ike contract don't we? yeah well no that's for planting a flag though yeah. Oh, not too far away from the KSC here. Look at that. 
just happenstance. Oh, uh, I forgot to retract solar panels, darn it. Quickly, quickly retract solar panels. I don't want you guys to blow off. Surprising that they haven't done so already, but anyway, nicely retracted. Oh, nothing much to say. It looks like uh, this is going pretty well. As long as the parachute has the capacity that I think it does, which it should. Should be in the middle of the ocean right now, which means no mountains to worry about to ruin our day. Can you tell I'm a bit nervous about the fact that this seems so easy? The game has a bad habit of... of uh, dashing such hopes. It's taking a while to give us the drag we need to get down. Really sort of skimming the atmosphere at this point. I'm sort of tempted to give it some help by using the engine. I mean we're drifting further and further away from the KSC after all. I don't know what the relative value would be either. I mean, would it be worthwhile to use the engine and lose the fuel, or better to recover the fuel? Oh, I forgot to do the other GUI experiment. Oh, let's see if there's anything to do here. Oh, there is, and it's worth about the same. Keep that data. Oh, we seem to be over land. The parachute's deployed at greater than 500 meters. So I'm gonna extend the landing gear. Gotta turn SAS on to make sure there's no tipping. And perhaps we'll use some thrust to slow down. Just to be safe. Wow, that is quite a slope. Look at that. That is a slope. Uh, oh, so we made it almost to the peninsula, basically north of the peninsula, so that's why we're on land. Okay, recover vessel. So the game almost threw a curveball at us with that landing location. But we've got uh, 206 signs. Let's take a look at the tech tree. I forget if that's enough or not. But anyway, we recovered at a 82.6% rate for 20,000 funds, so that's pretty good. The scientific instruments are pretty expensive. Alright, so where are we? Docking ports. 160, yeah? Okay, so let's research that. But let's continue with the Minmus mission, and perhaps we can do some more interesting things thanks to unlocking that. Yep, alright, let's go. So yeah, for some reason the game is favoring the moon encounter over any possible Minmus encounter, and I understand we did the uh, uh, off-plane off plane transfer to Minmus, so it might be, as you can see, very jittery. It's very, very jittery. So that's the situation, but I think we'll still get an encounter when the time comes. Let's see. If not, we can adjust. Okay, there we go. Minmus encounter as expected. Good, good, good. So, uh, with the advent of 0 0.90, I've basically abandoned my 0.24 series, unfortunately. But, uh, given that, since the main thing in the 0.24 series was building a station, I think it would be good to proceed with that here instead. So, I will... Uh, have that as an objective. Now, we've built the shuttle, so now I want to build a station to service the shuttle and allow it to continue on its missions and perhaps stations elsewhere around the system so that the shuttle can be more useful. Right now it's a little bit limited because of its range. Looks like this area might be a good place to land. We've planted a flag here and here, so I would expect that we haven't done much science in this basin here. Oh, what do they call it? Flats. The flats there. 
So I'm just gonna make a descent path to it. This is Minmus. It's not the not the hardest place to land at. And uh, but uh, for that matter, we might want to land at more than one location. So gotta. Well, then again, we're going to have the. Well, maybe we can make a soft landing on the transfer stage. This is, like I said, Minmus. Let's do some transmittable science while we're at at this. Uh, we're up here. We can find. Let's see. Can we do a thermometer reading? Yeah. Let's transmit that. Here's the gravioli. Okay. So let's try that. Transmit that one. I guess it'd be pretty easy to abort if something went wrong and it looked like it was going to tip over. Just press spacebar and full throttle. Okay. I think we've landed. Let's try a goo container. Yep, from the Greater Flats. Uh, we can keep that data. We can keep it from one goo container. And transmitting it will still ruin the goo container anyway. Um, thermometer reading. Log temperature. That I'll transmit. Log gravity data. Transmit that. Transmit that. Uh, I don't think I got the gravity data transmitted, did I? Oh, no, it said, okay, right. It's transmitting right now. Okay. Alright, I'll say reset experiment there. Okay, Science Junior, I guess, I mean, we can do it here and just leave it be. So we'll keep this one, and ju we just won't do it at any other location. It, it should be the same amount, right? Okay, so, uh, well, let's get to orbit, and then we'll decide where else to go. Up we go. No, oh, that's a little bit higher than I wanted, but okay. Actually, where do we end up like this? Eh, in the dark. I don't want to like, land anywhere in the dark. Seems like this location hasn't been hit yet. Let's get up to Apoapsis and then... Yeah, come on. Maybe a little bit more than that to give clearance. Okay. I think it should be pretty easy to land there. I guess this must be something different from this. So we should land there as well. Yep, anywhere here will do. Let's see, maybe a gravioli can be done right now. Nope, uh, we've done slopes before. Well, flying over we should be able to get some stuff, right? Log temperature? No. Still in space near Minmus, it doesn't make a difference. But I think the gravioli does, right? Let's see, where are you gravioli? Well, gravity data. Yeah, that one does. Greater flats. Not seeing a shadow or any lights. Oh, there's lights. It's tough on Minmus to maintain some level of thrust and not be going up. Oh, but a little bit of a bounce. Uh, SAS handled it well. Alright, uh, Gravioli, Gravioli. Gravioli, alright, uh, transmit that. We're definitely going to make another landing at some point. Be careful about doing seismic data after Gravioli. It might strip us of our electric charge, and in that case, maybe the SAS will not be able to keep control. Okay, so to temperature scan next, transmit that. Once it's ready, let's 
taking a while. Let me do this as well then. Transmit that. It's probably doing the temperature first. Yep. Okay, and we can do a second goo container here. So we're done with the science junior and goo containers. So keep that data. All right. But we can go to a third location. I think we'll hit this little area here. I trust it's something different. Uh, let's say go, uh, yeah, a little bit north of 90. Hope I didn't forget anything. Okay, that's a pretty stellar approach right there. Okay, let me do a tank dumping retro burn. And I think that's it. I think I will dump this tank now. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Got a lot out of it. Landing gear now. Okay, just getting to the beginning of this area. Let's see if flying over gives us some gravity info. Gravity. There we are. Okay, transmit that. Oops, thought we were closer, but all right. All right, so here we are again. And I think I've reached my minimus landing limit for today, so I'm just gonna keep these da data and bring it all back. After all, we've done all the science junior and goo, so it'd be better to just come back for stuff. All right, so keeping all that data, can't get science junior or goo. Let's go back home. Let's bring this back home to Carbon. We've got a lot of fuel though. We could probably I don't know if I want to try and hit the KSC. It's a possibility though. Oh, we could probably burn out right here, can't we? Oh, there's a moon encounter. I don't think we need to do that. And I don't want to. I think I've had enough of these little things. We must aim for grander adventures. Okay, that should be good enough. We've got enough fuel that we can retro burn once we get there even. So, yeah, maybe I'll try to hit the KSC a little bit better. Anyway, just a few seconds until we have to burn. And here we go for Kerbin. Okay. I don't know if that's too deep or whether that'll be good for just air braking into orbit. Could check air braking calculator, but I'm, I'm not going to in this case. Either way will work fine for me. But it looks like we'll actually be on the opposite side from the KSC. Okay, but here we go. Attract solar panels. We've got one always open solar panel. We might as well have that turned face up. There we are. That looks like a good re-entry profile. Even somewhat aerodynamic, somewhat. Oh, we've got the inclination problem as well. But I think we can retro burn a little bit more. That apoapsis is pretty high could leave it like that because I want to do the do the plane change maneuver though I guess I guess that's a plus let's do that okay pretty expensive inclination adjustment even with the apoapsis high but it's like 28 degrees or something like that. Sort of feel like I want to retro burn a little bit here. That periapsis is pretty high. 
may just bring it to 80. There we go. Okay, going around. Okay, circularize, because that makes it easier to hit the KSC. I know the numbers for circular orbits, not so much for elliptical orbits. Still should be a good approximation for elliptical orbits, but it's not quite exact. Yeah, that's better. Now, dropping the periapsis to about 35 kilometers over this peninsula should do the trick. Maybe 34. Just so that we make sure we hit land. Okay, set the beacon as a target. And we're legitimately trying to hit the KSC with this this time. Okay. Solar panels retracting. Hopefully we'll have enough light once we get there. It looks like it's just about dawn there. Okay, looks to be early morning at our home continent, so good sunlight. Let's see if we hit the coastline at a good altitude. Seems like we're a bit high. Yeah, maybe the the single aerodynamic part we've got on is giving us more lift than I thought. So let me retro burn. Plenty of retro burn capability here. Okay, that's it for the fuel. Yeah, looks like we're overshooting. Okay, 15 kilometers away from home. I'll put the gear up. Oh, I put the gear down. Don't have any extra fuel to soften the landing, but 5 meters per second shouldn't be too bad. Cross your fingers, of course. Uh, it is the, the Science Junior is always a little bit tricky. I'm hoping this thing will actually float and won't topple over. But I'll uh, wait for recover vessel and be quick on it. There we go. Okay, 541 in total. Uh, 279 actually brought back, but we transmitted some as well. And 97.3% uh, on the returns, 24,000 funds. And so, yes, two successful missions. We've got science. Would have liked 550, of course, because that allows us to unlock the any of the technologies that are in this final tier. They'd require 550, but we've got plenty of 300 ones to take care of as well as... Oh, let's get the claw. <laughs> Let me just go for that and clear that tier up. And so we've got the claw now. And so I'll decide which one of these we unlock in in the next episode but first I want to make sure to refuel the shuttle and that'll be the first thing in the next episode to do and then we'll see where we go from there alright so uh, with that thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time